Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? I hope you're doing well. We're going to look into the Vanderbilt curse. So I'm going to read you some of my notes. The curse originated with Cornelius Vanderbilt, allegedly. The patriarch of the Vanderbilt family who made his fortune in the railroad industry. The story goes that Vanderbilt refused to give a gypsy woman money and in retaliation she placed a curse on his family. There are several versions of the story, with some claiming that the gypsy one was actually a psychic who predicted the Vanderbilt family's misfortunes. Others believe that the curse was simply a legend created by the media to add to the Vanderbilt family's mystique. Despite the uncertain origins of the curse, many members of the Vanderbilt family have experienced tragedies and misfortunes over the year. Uh, for example, Cornelius Vanderbilt's son William died of typhoid fever at a young age, and his daughter Alva Vanderbilt Belmont lost a son to alcoholism and another to self-deletion, I guess we'll call it. So is there a curse? Uh, with Cornelius Vanderbilt, his passing, he had this big old family fortune. He died in 1877 at the age of 82, and his death triggered a bitter feud between his children and the grandchildren over his vast estate. Um, we have William Henry Vanderbilt, he was Cornelius' son. He died in 1885, not much longer after his death, at the age of 64. And then his death triggered another dispute between the children over the, the estate. Uh, Alva Vanderbilt's divorce, she was the wife of William Kissam Vanderbilt, divorced her husband in 1895, and he had an affair. Um, and the divorce scandalized high society. It caused a rift in the family. Then there's the sinking of the Lusitania. Alfred Gwynne Vanderbilt, a grandson of Cornelius Vanderbilt, died in the sinking of the Lusitania in 1915. In 1915, he booked passage on the Lusitania uh, bound for England. On May 7, 1915, while the ship was off the coast of Ireland, it was torpedoed by a German submarine. He was one of a, over a thousand people who perished in the disaster. And then you have Gloria Vanderbilt, the great-great-granddaughter of Cornelius had a difficult childhood marked by the passing of her father when she was a baby, a bitter custody battle between her mother and aunt, and you know about her son, Carter. Carter Vanderbilt Cooper, Anderson Cooper's brother, um, he passed by apparently self-deletion in 1988 at the age of 23. He went to go visit Gloria. And things seemed to be going fine. There was no arguments, no conflicts going on between mother and son. But within a few minutes, moments, uh, he went plummeting down 14 floors to his demise. Um, so let's see first, is there a curse on the Vanderbilt family? Allegedly. For entertainment purposes only. It's a card reading, not facts. My psychic downloads and stuff like that. And I don't remember the name of this deck. I'm still trying to figure out what it is called. But is there a curse on the Vanderbilt family? Um, hmm. Father of Cups. There's always been something that's plagued this family. In the past, you have the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Ten of Swords in the future. Yeah, this family, in my opinion, is cursed. It's just almost like every which way they turn, something's coming for them. Overriding concern is that somebody in the past may have made a deal with maybe a El Diablo. Um, there's something, somebody did something. Emotional undercurrent. Two of Wands, always trying to figure out how to outrun the curse, how to get away from the curse, how to get away from all the bad stuff. The fear, son of swords. They can't ever figure out how to get away from this curse. Okay, obsession. Three of cups, they just want to live their happy lives, I guess, being fancy pants Vanderbilt. Uh, driving ambition is the wheel. They want to change their fortune. And our main obstacle is they have no idea. They have no idea how to move forward. They just cannot do it. So I'm going to say yes, I think there is a curse. Um, somebody did something. Somebody did something here and set off a chain of events. 
Let's go back to that story about Cornelius and the gypsy woman. Did, what did it say here? He refused to give a gypsy woman money and then she placed a curse on the family. Did the gypsy woman place a curse? It didn't feel like that though. Seven of coins. Chariot. This is, I'm working together with this woman. This, this story is not correct. I've been working together with this woman on building my riches. Almost like she's spell casting for me. Or we're doing it together. Or she gives me instructions and I follow them. There's, no, this is a partnership. In the past, magician. He was working with her. So this is not like... Get away from me, gypsy woman. This is him working together with her, and they were doing things together. Ah, El Diablo. Yep. This is in partnership. He and the woman are working together. He was giving her money. He, he paid her. He was liking the work that she was doing. This was all about him trying to manifest his dreams of like world domination, power, money, everything. Yes. He was dabbling in the stuff. He was dabbling into um, magic, spells, whatever you want to call it. Um, trying to get his fortunes to increase. Um, trying to get advantage. Trying to do all of those things. Okay, so... <laughs> The story of where that curse came from, they were already working together. Then, how did it go south? Hanged man. Son of Cups. In the past, the lovers, they were in partnership. Got it. How did it go south? How did it go wrong? Secrets. Secrets. Eight of Wands. Five of Wands. Ace of Coins. Uh, there's this idea... There's some type of romantic partnership. Cornelius was interested in manifesting, making it go his way at some point. Let's get some Mildred Payne on this. It's something about he... He's waiting and waiting and waiting for this... Like to cast a spell on some... woman and nothing's happening it's almost like there's this idea that the the gypsy lady's like this is this is beyond what she wants to do this is like Im influencing this woman's free will she doesn't want it so she's not helping him she's not helping him he wants to force he wants to force the issue. He it's almost like he looks at her as like a prize, this woman. Why wouldn't she want me? I'm rich. I'm successful. She Okay, the gypsy woman doesn't want to help Cornelius do this because he is portraying himself other than how he is. So it's almost like, I can't do this spell or whatever because you're, you're wanting to negate her free will and you're also showing yourself as a fake person. Like, this is not who you really are. And he doesn't like that idea because 
He's rich and powerful, and whatever he's been paying her to do, she must be doing it. Five of Wands, Ace, or Acorn. It's like an argument of, like, he's just, he's befuddled. He's just like, I don't know, understand why you can't do this. You're doing all these other things. Just do it, do it, do it. She doesn't want to do it. And he definitely wants to, like, whip her into doing it, like, make her do it, and she does not want to do it. Don't you know who I am? I'm so strong. I'm so powerful. I have all this money. You, you know you can do this for me. Do it, do it, do it. She didn't want to do it. I don't know what relationship would this be. I I don't know if that's who he married. Um, but... This lady did not want to do this. Well, let's look. He's, he had a family. He must have had a wife. So how did they get together? And if you haven't yet, join me in the Moon Moth Manor, aluciawicker.com. He gets together with this woman. It almost feels like this is a, um, slow, slow courting. He's showering her with, I guess, some type of money. In the past, he's saying, I'm this independent baller dude. You want to be with me because I'm going places. We're going to make a happy home together. I'm going to show you the world. Anything you want in the world can be yours. We're going to grow our empire. My empire will be your empire. We will grow it together. And I'm just going to be this amazing businessman. Something here goes wrong, though. Did the... The gypsy lady contacted this lady and warned her about him. And it's like, but I can't, you've got to keep the secret. You can't tell on me whatever. <clears throat> and then Vanderbilt finds out he's oh, heartbreak. So there's heartbreak from the woman he marries, gets with whatever. Um, like she was duped, like the gypsy lady was saying. She didn't realize till it was too late. And he retaliated against the gypsy woman. Okay, so this is how they break up the gypsy lady and Cornelius's business relationship breaks up so then does the gypsy lady put the curse on him to curse the family because she didn't want to play along with his latest scheme Looking into the future. Okay, slow, reliable, setting goals. In the past, there's a strength card. Somebody has the power. I'm going to go my own way. Leaving him. Star and two of swords. i got to keep going because this is, here's the world. Nine of Cups, he'll have the world, he'll be satisfied, but he's a very emotionally not good person. She may have done something, and it doesn't feel like a curse necessarily, but there's some type of ritual she's done. Maybe it's a curse. Let's go on to this here, because there's something where... It feels like there's a midnight ritual she does do. There's Wish. There's the moon. I think she's doing like a midnight ritual or something to turn his fortunes. 
it's almost like a, you, you're not using magic for good. You're using it to manipulate situations. And because you are without a moral compass, your legacy, your children, offspring, family comes after you are going to be affected by your desire to manipulate people. Okay, so I guess she did, just not how exactly they said the curse happened. Alrighty then. So let's go down then. On my notes here, let's go into the story of the sinking of the Lusitania, where Alfred Vanderbilt, the grandson of Cornelius, uh, he passed away in the sinking. Was this related? The sinking of the Lusitania, was this related? Or is this some other story? Okay, I'm going on my journey. There's a battle here in the past. Oh, that might be. We have El Diablo and death. Man, I would like to, next time I would, I'm never going to go on a cruise. But if I was, I'd want to see the passenger manifest. Just saying. Yeah, I'm going to say this could be attributed to it. It's almost like a, um, it's a two for one deal. It's a two for one deal. Nobody would, the boat gets hit by the German sub torpedo, whatever, um, and this guy's taken out at the same time. So that would that's interesting. Maybe we'll have to do a reading on the Lusitania. But it's like a two-for-one deal. Like, well, he's on it, so it's good. I don't know what those Vanderbilts did to the Germans, but something. Let's look into Gloria Vanderbilt. Um, there are rumors... And if you see some of those old pictures, it looks like she's uh, very much into Eyes Wide Shut stuff. There's an old photograph from a magazine where there's like an altar or some something weird hanging above this bed where she's reading to her kid or kids. Uh, it's just weird. So was Gloria a dark mother, I guess? That's the term I have written here in the Eyes Wide Shut game. Three of coins, son of wands. On the down low, on the down low. It's almost as if she wants to resurrect whatever Cornelius was doing, but you know, in a new fandangoed way. <laughs> Daughter of cups. Yeah, she wanted to Carry on the family legacy, shall we say, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. This is opening up a whole different world to her in ways to achieve your goals. Yeah, it's like she's decided to start this, to do this, and this is just the new fandangled way. And she found a way to join the group, the club. Yep, connected with El Diablo. Not going to talk about it. Uh, this is like her home base. This is her house, the house that Gloria built in a way. Yep, there it is. She's the priestess in this group. She she was very powerful. Okay. Then that leads us to what happened to Cooper. Did Cooper just take himself out? Did Cooper get taken out? Because then we'll get into the... Um, Kathy Griffin Anderson Cooper picture. Well, let's look at it real quick here. Here's this picture I found on, I don't know where, I think Twitter. Uh, first picture is Anderson Cooper with his brother. Now compare his brother that we are told uh, jumped to Kathy Griffin. There's always been a weird rumor about that. So what happened to Cooper that day? Carter Cooper.
Eight of Coins, the Emperor in the past, Mother of Coins, Gloria, Judgment, making a choice here. There's a, a choice has been made. Seven of Wands, your back is up against the wall. This is a weird partnership. I don't think, my opinion, I don't think Carter, this is a switch. I know, sounds weird. Tinfoil hat is on. This is a switch. This is like almost, um, I don't know who they found down there, but this was a switch. This was the opportunity to do a switcheroo. Change one into the other. It's it's so weird. Okay, so why are we switching? What does that? I, as much as I do these readings into these eyes wide shut people, I don't understand a lot of why they do these things. So why does he have to get switched? And become Kathy. Why is Carter becoming, or yeah, why is Carter becoming Kathy? There's a switcheroo. To keep him, there has to be an explanation why now, it's not even an explanation because it's like there's this idea that we had to sacrifice this other whoever went down out the window. And then it's like a good cover story for why we end up with Kathy. We got two of coins making a decision. The detective work, detective work. This is solving a problem. What is the problem? There's a lot of work that's being done here, and it's almost like this is solving some type of problem or making something more balanced. Maybe it's not a problem. It's making something balanced by switcherooing him. He leaves, he exits out the window to the world, and he comes a daughter. Why? Why? Why do they have to do this? Let's ask about who the person that went out the window that's not the son. <clears throat> Okay, obviously. Leaving in the past. Nine of Swords. This, whoever this was, this is all like they were marked. You're you're the one. We've picked who you, who you are. Who's going to be doing this? As we're planning for the future, Father of Swords. I, father of Swords. What can I know about the Father of Swords? It's like a very smart person that's sent out the window. Like it's almost like he got too close. Oh, I, okay. Skirt. He has to. They have to get rid of him. It's. It's so weird. Like I get it in terms of how I understand of like, say if I'm selecting a, a sperm donor and I want the sperm donor to be smart and handsome and whatever. Uh, so my baby will be beautiful, but there's some weird thing where they pick this person cause he's smart. He's 
got the look they want. And out he goes. This octopus. Stump. Star. And coin. This is such a weird thing. Like, I... It's almost like he agrees to it in some weird way. Like some payments made to his family for his sacrifice. He, but it looks like when it was going to happen, he wasn't necessarily excited. He was scared shitless that he agreed to doing this. Somehow it's almost like it reminds me of hale -Bop people. Like, oh, this is going to get me to Nirvana or to the Haley's Comet or to the whatever. There's some like energy payoff that he thinks he's getting by performing this duty. What the heck? These people are weird. Okay, I've had enough. I've had enough Vanderbilts. No mas. Uh, I have to take a break from them. Ooh, bad, bad, bad. Ugh. Okay, so, mm, all right, with that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Join me in the Moon Moth Manor and uh, stay safe, stay away from weirdos and audios.